This is Aaron True, and today I'm joined by MMA fighter Fabricio Werdum. Fabricio, a lot of change lately with your fight with uh, Fudor. What do you know about the fight? I don't know. I, I, I train every day um, for a wait for uh, my fight in April, uh, 15 or 16 April, but no more the same, the same uh, uh, date. But uh, I know I stopped the training. I train a lot of, uh, every day I train affliction, the Rafael training. Uh, I train in boxing, wrestling, I train in running in the morning. I train every, every, everything, the, the Muay Thai, everything. But uh, it's a little problem because there's no confirmation 100% the, the fight. But uh, I wait, no problem. I wait because it's, it's, uh, this fight is very important. It's, it's the, uh, the fight more uh, important in my career. Uh, I wait. I, I train. I wait because uh, now it's maybe in May, but now 100% of confirmation the, for uh, the fight for Fedor. But um, I have one more. Oh, I, I have one month more for a fight, for, uh, for training. Has Scott Coker or Strike Force made an effort to talk to you and tell you what's going to happen with the fight? No, uh, not talk for uh, for me. For my manager, for uh, Hisher, every day. Uh, Every time uh, I only talk to my, 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 my manager, is uh, Hisher. Um, Hisher talk for me, it's Fabricio, wait, there's no, it's no confirmation, but you go in the training, every day do the training, never uh, hard to train now, because I have uh, maybe three months for uh, maybe the May. I wait, I wait the fight, but uh, no problem. I, um, is, I, I wait, I wait for, uh, uh, for May. What would it mean to you if the fight does not take place? Would you be upset? Yes, I'd be sad because um, I wait the, the fight. It's, it's very important for me, it's the fight. It's my, more important in my car career. Yes. Um, because I, I, I train every day, I train, train, train for I wait this fight. Because uh, a, lot of, um, a lot of fighters have the opportunity for a fight, uh, fight the Fedor. He, um, I, want, uh, I want this is my turn now. Como é que é triste mesmo? I'm sad. I'm sad and no fight. It's, but it's other guys, no problem. Because uh, I don't like the. Uh, a lot of time is not no fight. I train, train. Maybe for me is is good for me. Uh, one fight for uh, three months. Uh, three months more. One more fight. Three months. One more. Because uh, a lot of time is is stop the fight. I don't, I don't like my last fight in November. In, I want maybe fight in February. Now in Mar March. But no heavy fight, I, I wait. E, uh, Monday, Wednesday, e, e Friday, I go the running in the, in the morning, six o'clock in the morning. Uh, the coach uh, Matt, only running on a sprint in the beach. And you know the, the college, the college and the beach? <laughs> the beach. The beach. <laughs> the beach is <laughs> <laughs> The beach. Beach. beach, the waves. waves. Yeah, the beach. Yeah, <laughs> in the college, the Santa Monica College. The, como é que é a pista de corrida? Track, track the, in the track. Yeah, three three days in a week. It's good. It's good preparation. Yeah, it's very nice. This is Aaron True with heavyweight MMA fighter Fabricio Werdum. Thank you for your time. Feather, I'm ready. This is Aaron True, and today I'm joined by female MMA fighter Ro Califano. Recently, you took on the karate hottie Michelle Watterson. There's not really any footage. There weren't any interviews online. We're here for the scoop. We're here for the story. Give us your side of how things went down. Uh, well, it, she actually caught me in a flying arm bar. Um, it was pretty quick. We both went out there, and like we thought, she uh, threw out a jab and then a, a right kick, which I caught, came back with a right cross. And as she was going down, I was taking her, like, pushing her down. She threw up a haymaker and she threw her leg over and caught my arm and rolled on her belly and, and got into my arm, arm bar. It was really disappointing. Um, I was hoping, you know, I'd be able to stand up a while and, and, you know, come out with something better than what happened. But, you know, I guess it just goes with experience. But it, it, it was still, it, for me, it was a good experience. Talked to her afterwards and uh, she was really cool. She did mention that I did uh, give her a little bit of bloody nose or whatever. I, I didn't see it, but um, it, it, it was an experience. And yeah, and I definitely am wanting to do another one. So we'll see what happens. I mean, we'll see. I'm not ashamed to admit that even though you fight at 105 pounds, you have choked me out and made me tap here in class. 
We love having you in the gym. You're a big inspiration. Uh, you're fun to train with. Big motivation to everyone. What's next for Roe? Oh, gosh. Anything, I guess. I just hope, you know, I get an opportunity to fight someone. Um, you know, maybe maybe not somebody with that many fights, but like I said, I was willing to try anything, so we'll see what happens. This is Aaron True with female MMA fighter Ro Califano. Thanks for your time. Best of luck in the future. Thank you. Thank you. This is Aaron True, and I'm here with head instructor at King's MMA, Rafael Cordero. You just came back from Australia where Vandalay Silva was victorious over Michael Bisbing. How excited and proud are you of Vandalay? I'm very happy because Vandalay, he uh, was training a lot for this fight, and... Uh, our team gave a lot of support to him, and uh, we everybody very happy now because he 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 find one more time the, the, the happiness for fight. So I'm very happy for help him in this fight. I'm gonna help him for another fight, and uh, for sure, Silva's back. Not only is Vandalay Silva back, he's fighting again coming up here soon against Yoshihiro Akiyama. There's no date confirmed, but what do you look forward to in that fight? That's a very good opponent in Japan. He's half Korean, half Japanese. So in Japan, he have a, a lot of a lot of a lot of people know him because he 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 beat it Sakuraba, he beat it Melvin Manhoff. So it's very good opponent for Vanderlei. But for Vanderlei, he's always fought against good good fighters. He always fought against big big guys, and for sure, hard fight for Akiyama. Do you think that now that he has a younger face, he has younger fighting style again? Yeah, he's, he's still ugly, but, uh, you know, <laughs> good cardio, good stamina. This cirurgy for him is very, very important. Sometimes people don't know, but he, he did this for, because in the fight, every time you hit his face, he opened easy. But now, after this, this surgery, it's much, much better. You can touch him, he don't open easy. And, and, now, and now he can breathe. Because for a long, long time, when the lady just, just breathed for one way, now he opened his nose and perfect. His card is better now, he can breathe. He's fighting a quick turnaround against Yoshihiro. Does that mean he has no injuries from the Michael Bisming fight? No injuries. He, he trained after, after 12 days in Australia. He come back. And then when he come back, he start training again. He lift the weight. He never stopped training. Thanks God now, nothing, no injuries. He's, he's ready for the fight. So the old Vanderlei Silva, he's back. He's back. I'm very happy. Uh, thank you all the guys. Thank you guys for help us, for the fans know what is happening inside the gym. It's very, very important. Thank you Verdun. Thank you Vitor Viana. Thank you Babalu, Felipe Fugolin, Fernando Betiga, all my, my guys, Andre Baggio. All my guys help a lot for this fight. Everybody very happy because, because Silva's back. Aaron True, MMA Prime TV, here with head instructor at Kings MMA, Rafael Cordero. Be careful, Sexy Yama. Vandalay's coming for you. That's it. Take a look. <laughs> Thank you, Coach. Brand new. Man. I like it. Blue, Serena, and Neon. My wife and my two daughters. Now I have a respect in my house. Everybody respect. <laughs>